Guys, I'm teaming up with my good friend, retired Navy SEAL Jocko Wilnick for something real special. Jocko started Jocko Fuel when he found out the supplements he was buying for himself and his family were filled with heavy metals and ingredients he was unaware of. He wanted a line of supplements and consumables that had all of the good, effective ingredients and none of the bad. So we made it happen. I got set up with all of the key products and we want to do the same for you. Jocko Go Energy Drinks for clean, sustainable energy. Jocko Milk Protein for 30 grams of delicious grass-fed protein, plus a full line of supplements to support mood, focus, hydration, joints, and more. Jocko Fuel Supplements are scientifically formulated and made with ingredients that are clinically tested. They are better for you options with no artificial flavors or sweeteners, no added sugar, and no gray area ingredients or banned substances. It's clean fuel with health compromise. And right now, you can get 20% off when you use code CHAIL at jockofuel.com. Or if it's easier, just click on the link below. I like Fighter of the Night. And we don't do that. We do Fight of the Night. And the reason I bring that to you, let me give you a great example, which would be UFC 300. The, the single best performance, the, the single athlete that rose to the occasion, exceeded expectations, and did it in an absolute dominant fashion was Kayla Harrison. But there was no bonus there. There was not even any talk after that fight. I mean, even Amanda Nunes tried to get a rumbling going. It, it, it died in its tracks just because it was surrounded by other great fights. It sucked all the air out of the room. And I tell you that because in this sport, we don't do great fighter. We do great fight. So regardless of how well you performed, to be recognized by that litmus test, your opponent needs to be very equal in form. And why do I tell you that? Well, because I have Steve Ersick. That's why. For fighter of the I think I, I didn't see the bonuses tonight. They. I'm quite sure one fight of the night, but but fighter, even in defeat, and the great Roy Pittman told anybody that would listen, your biggest victory will come in defeat. And Pantoja is not going anywhere. He's awesome. Pantoja is awesome, and he looked awesome tonight. I put Pantoja in the category only of GSP and Khabib. There has never been anybody that could weaponize pace aside from GSP and Khabib and tell Pantoja, and I'm not sure he doesn't do it better. I'm not sure he doesn't scramble better than Demetrius Johnson. He's not as fast as Demetrius, but for that straight on scramble of which is the ultimate cardio blast, man, he was awesome. He was awesome. And with all of that said, I believe Ursic is the fighter of the night. How do I get to that conclusion? Well, first off, Pantoja was ranked number one as champion. He will remain number one as champion. Ursic is ranked number 10. He could go as high as number two. Now, believe me, they won't do it, but they won't do it because they don't have the balls to do it in the rankings room. They'll say, well, you know, the politics are this. Just, you know, we want the guy ranked number two to get the fight because we got to try to build a fight. All things that they are not supposed to do. They go, sorry, I'm not going to give it to a guy that just had the fight because they're not going to rematch it. So just for that reason alone, they won't put him there. But if you go to him and you say, all right, well, show me a 25-pounder that you believe that can beat Ursic that isn't named Pantoja, they also won't be able to do that. And I only say that not, not just to give the rankings room a hard time because they lack knowledge and integrity. I do that because that's how high Ursic could go. And even though the reality is he's going to come in number six or even number five, he's still going to move up four to five spots. And I don't think there's anyone else. First off, there's no one else on the card that's going to do that. So that's going to I come to the conclusion that he had the best performance. But I don't know if you could find anybody in history that in defeat did that. That in defeat could and should go all the way to number two that we just found out we found the two best guys and we put them in a contest with each other. And I just want to say that because Ursic did such a good job. One thing about Pantoja, as good as his scrambling is, and uh, you know, when, when it comes to his striking, it'll do. It'll do against anyone in the world, but it'll do. It doesn't matter if you put him in there with a guy that's not that great at striking or you put him there with a really good striker. He can protect himself, he can hold his own. 
He's not going to knock them out or finish them, but they're not going to knock him out or finish him. His great strengths come with the grappling. But make sure you do understand, because there's been a big misconception in this sport that's starting to go away. It's changed about six years ago, and Pantoja represents one of the generation that understands the change. But grappling and wrestling are not the same thing. You do not grapple until the wrestling is done. You will never grapple, not one second, until the wrestling is done. The wrestling is the part that gets you into the range to grapple. And guys go to grappling practice. They do it for years and years, all the way to world title fights, through careers. They never wrestle one time. They'll go start on their knee. Hey, let's get on our knees and start. Hey, you, you just lay on your back, and then we'll start. And it's a really good workout. And it's really ineffective for the sport of MMA where it is today. And I bring that to you because Pantoja dealt with that. I thought Ursic was the better wrestler. On paper, he is. Experience why he he is. He's not a better grappler. Ursic is a better wrestler. And he was not the better MMA wrestler tonight. Ursic went for one takedown where he really went for it, and he got it. So I think if there's anything Ursic could do, you know, he might look look back at that. Think, man, I should have gone for a couple of more. But Ursic walked him down. He marched him down. He put that pace on him. Pantoja held up. Pantoja is the best. I am not attempting to take away from him, but Pantoja at number one and remaining at number one versus Ursic at number 10, who should go to number two. Man, I had him even in defeat. It's the performance of the night.